with one tweet from one man, the entire market of cryptocurrency moved approximately $100 billion in a single day, a massive amount of money pouring in, Bitcoin going up 10.91% just in the last 24 hour period alone, a massive, massive leap, all from just simply one man saying one thing, pretty remarkable. And when you start to look at that, you start to realize why. What is Elon Musk's favorite cryptocurrency, Dogecoin? So if you're not looking at Dogecoin as a serious investment right now, considering the power that Elon Musk still has over the market, considering how many people are listening to him and using what he says to go off of, if you're not looking at Dogecoin, then what the heck are you doing? Come join this channel. Make sure to subscribe with the notifications on. Subscribe, turn them on, and enjoy all of the information and news in a fun format that we go through. Definitely the place to be. We want those subscribers to be going through the roof to the moon. And if they're not, then we are going to be missing out on some big amounts of information. But here's the big tweet coming in. And I also found some interesting stats behind this. Is it actually true what Elon is saying? Is Bitcoin actually taking up as much energy as is claimed? What solution could be put in place? Is achieving the goal of 50% even possible? This is the, the tweet from Elon Musk coming in. And you know, if you're watching a fast time video, you know a heck of a lot of research has gone into it. Always, that is what I'm going to do. This is not accurate coming in from Elon Musk. Tesla only sold 10% of holdings to confirm BTC could be liquidated easily without moving the market. When there's confirmation of reasonable 50% clean energy use by miners with positive future trend, Tesla will resume allowing Bitcoin transactions. Transactions. That is the tweet that is shaking up the cryptocurrency world right now. But here. I'm gonna show you some stats behind this It actually just a little bit deeper into what is really happening here. Now, the first one to keep in mind, approximately 76% of Bitcoin miners right now are using renewable energy, at least in part. And the reason why it's not more than that is because, well, it's taking time, of course, for people to start adapting that. But the reason specifically why only a percentage of use is actually going through renewable is because in a lot of countries in a lot of places where this is happening, China, especially you don't have sun year round, you don't have sun every single day to where you can actually get that energy. So in some places, they cannot mine Bitcoin 24 seven using renewable energy, at least not yet. Could the technology change in the future? Yes, but it's not there yet. And so that's why it's going to take time for this to actually happen if we want it to happen. And on top of that, another important thing to remember, and I'll get a little bit more into the 76%, I believe right now approximately 30 to 40% based on my calculations of the energy, it's impossible to know for sure, is actually coming through renewable, even though some people are using it partially, they're not using it fully. Um, but here, here's an interesting chart right here. And this right here shows the emissions coming out from Bitcoin. Since Bitcoin has fallen and started being using less, used less, it has fallen approximately to here. And yet the emissions are still up here because the incentive is still there to mine. It's just that more people are starting to realize that. So you're not actually helping by causing it to go down. You're hurting it because more of those resources are being unused. And on top of that, every single day that you are not pushing Bitcoin and cryptocurrency forward, you are enabling the current systems which are significantly worse than cryptocurrency, even though they're significantly better than any system we've ever had. So it's a little bit of a double layers there. Right now, between 60 and 80% of Bitcoin mining revenue goes straight back into paying for electricity. So that's really where the incentive is. People already want to use renewable energy. That's why we're going to see places like Arizona and places with a lot of sun start to become hubs of cryptocurrency mining into the future, especially in the United States, which is a positive thing. It would be nice to see more of the mining, more of this, the control of those networks happening in countries that are closer to us. I think that would be good. Any info on FTS? Not at the moment, I, but we will we'll definitely do some updates. 60 to 80% going straight back into electricity. So think about how much more money you can make as a miner if you're using renewable energy, which is free and easy to access. The incentive structure is already there. Regardless of what Elon Musk tweets or not, it was still going to move to renewable energy. It was always inevitable. Instead of pushing for cryptocurrency to do this, which isn't really gonna move the needle much since it was already moving in that direction, why not push for the other systems? The current monetary systems to use more renewable energy. Obviously, we all like clean air, regardless of anyone's opinion on that specific topic. We all want clean air, and I think everyone's going to strive, push for that, and it's going to happen, but just slowly over time, trying to rush it will not actually help at all. This is also the estimated revenue um, when, and when compared directly to kilowatt hours per um, per mining transaction, and this is per year. So you're seeing, what, what we have seen is actually, it, it fell a decent amount in 19, then started climbing back up again. So it's not really staying stable. Like a lot of people are trying to convince us that it is. That's not really truly the case of what's happening here. 
And we have seen a lot of articles coming out. So it wasn't just the Elon tweet. It was the big articles from Coindesk. Tesla will resume taking Bitcoin as payment. Once miners go to 50% green, we're not that far away from 50%. It was going to happen anyway, though. This, we don't need Elon Musk to save us in this specific area. Even though Elon Musk, every single time we say something negative about him, we do have to include the fact that he is still the number one proponent for moving cryptocurrency forward in the world. He is still moving the markets massively and deserves a ton of credit for that. But when he does things that are not actually right, we do have to call him out for it just simply because that's, the, that's what you have to do. You don't really have a choice. Then this one's all coming in from CNBC. Musk says Tesla will accept Bitcoin again as crypto miners use more clean energy. Then this one coming in, Bitcoin pops 10% after Musk suggests Tesla could accept the cryptocurrency again. So a lot of positiveness coming in and they were trying to convince us, a lot of people were, that Elon Musk had lost his sway, that he no longer had the ability to do things like this. He still clearly does, even more so than people even realized. Bitcoin going up significantly more than any other cryptocurrency in the last 24 hours, just despite being the biggest. So many positive stories coming out about BTC recently, including the updates that are coming. If you're not at least holding some BTC, I think you are missing out. Everyone, in my opinion, should be holding some BTC. If you want to get rich, the altcoins are really where the best opportunities are. But if you just want to see steady gains over time, Bitcoin is a really, really, really good option. There are obviously risks if some big bad news comes out, but still the best option pretty much by far that is currently out there way better than gold, way better than obviously holding fiat currency. As we're also seeing, crypto long and short, the market gets smarter. So people are starting to realize too, that a lot of this hype around it being easy to crack the code of Bitcoin is of course just that, it's hype, it's shenanigans, as we have seen a big correction from it falling down all the way to 31, then it started coming back up again. The bear market seemed to be coming to an end the bear is hibernating, a final stand slash Dogecoin charity drive. I like the sound of that coming in from Jamon. Thank you for the chat. Doge, interesting. The future gaining more crypto for holding. Hashtag Doge AMC to the moon. If AMC accepts Doge, it's going to take it to another level. As we're also seeing articles like this coming out. Bitcoin is bad for the environment. These energy stocks can help. The Miley Fool, once again, laying it hard on cryptocurrency, failing to realize the actual stats and numbers behind it. As we have seen as well, Dogecoin being mentioned in this big Yahoo Finance article, seven all-star altcoins to buy for today that will be slam dunk picks tomorrow. And the seven that made this list are Ethereum, Cardano, Dogecoin, Stellar Lumens, XLM is what it's referred to, Aave, Litecoin, and Binance Coin. And I think the one that stands out the most on this list is definitely Aave. Aave basically is going directly, going directly past the banks to lending services, really specializing and focusing on that. And I think Aave is definitely one of the best altcoins outside of Dogecoin to be considering holding some right now, currently at a price of 310, ranked number 28 in the world with a market cap of approximately four to five billion, it's hovering in that area. And it's also down some right now, despite being relatively steady for the last month or so. Seems like a pretty good opportunity, a pretty good time to look at Aave as an investment opportunity. I'm definitely going to be buying some more Aave Digital dollar could push more investors into Bitcoin. When Bitcoin goes up, the altcoins go up, Dogecoin especially considering who's the driving factors behind this. So the fund man, this is this is the fund manager of one of the biggest funds in the world, Opsray Funds, and he told CNBC, he's right about this, that the more we're seeing countries try to make their own digital currencies, it's just going to give people more exposure to digital currencies, which will then lead to Bitcoin and other altcoins going up. We're not actually going to see massive amounts of people investing huge amounts of money in government altcoins because people are trying to avoid that in the first place. That's why the big altcoin market is here. No one's going to be encouraging that with their dollars. Duju coming in as well with the chat, or Dujo. Dujo, Dujo198613, I appreciate that. To the moon, do you think the prices right now will be stable and stay? Very unlikely. We've seen so many different factors coming out into play here. The chances of the prices staying stable for too much longer are not high. I think the highest chance by far is us seeing the bull run start to really ramp into that next gear. We're going to see some major, major buyers coming in as this, this entire opportunity starts to grow. We love you, Matt, from Big Shot Studios. We are now making our own coin for game development. Just got our off our blockchain backend. Interesting. Yeah, good luck with that, Big Shot Studios, coming in and making your own crypto. I wish you all the best. I hope it's successful. If you do have a successful crypto, that's easily one of the best ways to go directly into the business world and make a big splash. Why some cyber criminals, though, are ditching Bitcoin for a cryptocurrency called Monero. This right here is, I think, one of the more negative stories of the last 24 hours because... 
Cyber criminals are starting to get smarter. Monero, significantly harder to track. You cannot see where the transactions go. It's one of the most privacy focused cryptocurrencies. So Monero, I actually think is probably looking like more of a bad investment opportunity because the government may at some point, and honestly, they could be justified in this. You want the government to some degree to be able to stop cyber criminals so it doesn't get out of hand, but still not be able to track ordinary regular people. And that's the way we currently have it set up now. They can get behind the scenes access to criminals way easier without be having that same access to individuals because the individual transactions are on a much smaller level. So normally I'm, I'm all against government hugely, but in some cases it is helpful for them to be able to come in and stop certain criminal acts. But with this, with Monero, that offers an opportunity for criminals to once again have that upper hand. I think Monero may be banned by some governments into the future. You won't be able to buy things with it, meaning you can't fully ban any cryptocurrency, really. It'll still exist, but you can prevent people from buying things with it, which would mean if the criminals got it, what could they buy with it? Nothing that you wouldn't be able to. And if you tried to move it into USD or something like that, then that would be where it would be trackable because then you could see the USD money coming in or another currency that you moved it to. So that is why I don't think Monero is a good investment opportunity at this current point in time, just because it's so risky. Obviously, if the cyber criminals, if the government is able to find another way to stop them, then I like Monero a lot. But outside of that, I just don't think it's worth the risk right now. And if you're holding it, there we go. Now you know. Now you know. Love you, brother, to the moon. I appreciate that. So let me read a couple more of these chats here. Shiba Inu, oh, Scam Moon, <laughs> Soon to the Moon, Gibby, Right On, No Government, AMP is Perfect. Yeah, I'm definitely on the No Government Overreach train. Clown, <laughs> 1 1 Sniper, I Hold Doge. <laughs> Someone said your mom invited me. Well, that's not, that's very nice of her. I'm glad, I'm glad she let you know about her stream. Man, so some of these comments are actually really funny. <laughs> honestly what's your take on the d5 wallet all right I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna actually i'm gonna stop some of these people here because they're spamming stuff and obviously we don't want that so if you spam you get hidden forever you'll never be able to comment again doge prince what up man big week to the moon platoon what crypto should I buy right now? Well, if you're looking at Dogecoin, I don't think you, you're really being steered too wrong with that. I mean, with all these updates that we're seeing in the last 24 hours, I think the biggest takeaway from all of this is that never underestimate Elon Musk's ability to change the market, never underestimate his ability to move things, and never underestimate the fact that he loves Dogecoin more than any other cryptocurrency. As well, we're also seeing more stats coming out about Bitcoin mining, including the fact that they can't really provide as much power output in countries like China from renewable energy because of the weather there. And on top of that, this right here kind of shows you where a lot of this cryptocurrency mining is happening. You see a huge percentage of it going on in China, some of the biggest hotspots there, but also North America is really starting to take a big percentage of that as well. Florida, Texas, we are seeing some of that, but the East Coast, I think, definitely needs to be seeing more cryptocurrency mining happening. What the heck, East Coast? What are, what are you waiting for? I, I definitely think we need, we need that to happen more because it would be good for cryptocurrency altogether. The more we're seeing people near us mining. Great job, Matt. I have your back. Final stand to the moon. I like the sound of that. How did he change the market? Well, he made it go up 10%. Just with Bitcoin alone in the last 24 hours, it's gone up approximately 7% without that. Without Bitcoin being included, I mean, it's still gone up massively, even just looking at the altcoins. Binance coin up 5%, Ethereum up 5%, Dogecoin 3% has been one of these smaller gainers over the last 24 hours, which I think is just silly. I mean, are people not seeing the opportunity here? Are people not realizing it? Yes, that's the truth. People aren't. A lot of people, they don't, they still look at Dogecoin as a joke. They still don't see where it's going. Love you, Matt. Oh yeah, spammers, spammers need to stop. Also, there's someone who's been running a fake arbitrage ad next to my videos. Stop doing that. They're tricking people, trying to trick people. I don't think it's, it's a good thing to do. Jason, and if they've also been doing it on other YouTubers' channels as well, it's not just mine. They're really ramping up their, their efforts here. Also, thank you, Jason, for the chat. What's wrong with holding Doge? Nothing, you, there's nothing wrong with that. If you're buying more, that's what I'm doing. What about Ripple? Ripple Ripple is quickly becoming one of the most underrated cryptos as well. And I used to I used to not be that fond of it. 
But the truth is, with their transaction fees being as low as they are, you have to be looking at it seriously. You have to see it as definitely one that's going to be a viable option to compete for that top three spots. Ethereum, Dogecoin, I think are almost certainly going to be at some point in the future, number one and two. It's hard to know the exact order. Will Ethereum be slightly ahead? Will Dogecoin be slightly ahead? I think they're going to be around the same market cap, probably approximately $1 trillion for each one. And that would be a massive, massive increase from where we are now. And Bitcoin will likely be also around that $1 trillion area. Where we go from there, I think will just depend on what people are looking at as, as investment opportunities at that point. But I do think that's where we're headed. And I think it's it's going to be hard to avoid that just with the energy around each token. Oh, did Elon just tweet again? What, what did he say? If he, if he tweeted again, hopefully it's something good. Oh, nice. He did tweet again. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, so it looks like something about dentistry. Dennis will show you clairvoyant footage if you ask nicely. What? I, okay, I think I think Elon Musk is just taking memes to the next level. I don't even I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that on YouTube without getting taken down. Oh, look at this. He also just liked a Dogecoin picture. Okay, that's pretty cool. So he for the first picture he liked is this Earth during a stormy night seen from the space station. Pretty beautiful. We're somewhere down there just enjoying the storm. MKTY is using green energy to do crypto mining. Maybe Elon and Doge devs could team up with them. I would not be opposed at all to seeing that. I think that would definitely be a cool thing to see. Dogecoin, though, already significantly better than Bitcoin when it comes to the environment. Bitcoin already significantly better than the current systems when it comes to the environment. And the current systems are already better than the previous systems when it comes to the environment. So we're already so many levels down. I mean, any extra improvements would just be going above and beyond the Call of Duty, which this actually looks kind of like a Call of Duty map right here. It looks like a scene you'd see in, the, in there. But this tweet coming in, the picture puts a smile on my face every time I see it. Hashtag Dogecoin, hashtag Doge Army. This photo is from 1955. It was called A Few Seconds Before Happiness. Oh, that's awesome. I Oh my gosh, I love that photo. I have not even seen this before. And I, I'm, officially, I'm officially in love with this photo. Look at that. So he has a puppy behind his back, a cute little Doge. And look at the kid there. The kid's waiting patiently, has his hands together. What's the surprise, Papa? What's the surprise? And then Papa pulls out, look how look how small it is, pulls out the puppy. If that doesn't put a smile on your face, I don't know what the heck would. And the fact that Elon Musk is looking at Dogecoin accounts still, that shows you he hasn't even come close to giving up on it. Some people said, did Elon Musk stop caring about Dogecoin? Is he done with it? Is it over for him? Well, if it is, then why is he still following so many accounts like that? Why is he still continuing to check them? Why is he liking Dogecoin posts? Why is he talking about Dogecoin versus Bitcoin to the moon space race? Of course he's still on board. He's just smart about it. He understands that it's better to wait till the right time to do it. Wait a little bit longer. Wait till you have the bigger announcements because if you use too much of your influence too fast, it's going to lose some of its steam. So he knows what he's doing. He's being very, very, very smart about it. And his his power within the crypto community should not be underestimated at all. And we've seen that over the last 24 hours. Very, very, very clear. He also likes a lot of pictures like this from Architect which they do have some beautiful stuff. I don't know why he specifically liked this one. It just looks like a normal picture. What does it say? Nothing, no caption there. Does anyone know what that is? I don't know, I mean, it's interesting-ish, but I don't really see anything special enough for it to be deserving of that like, which Elon gives out sparingly. Matt, I saw your name in the headline of a news article on the Robinhood app, retweet from Elon, and in the Robinhood app, all in one month, to the moon! Yeah, that's pretty dang cool. Seeing our name in the Robinhood app, for the newest section it was also in the it was in the coinbase app as well i thought that was fun and the more articles that we get about us the better so make sure you're pressing like on videos like this because that really will help massively moving forward with what we're going to see with new people coming on board banking on elon's tweets on your investments well to some degree i mean we have to remember too as big as elon's tweets are as as much as they help as important as they are to the community we cannot forget that this spike here happened without Elon being a necessary crucial part of it. Yes, some of the energy building up to it was caused by Elon. Yes, he played a big role, but Elon did not tweet any big news announcements or any big things during that major spike, major run that we saw. So this right here, 
already proves that the Dogecoin community is capable of making Dogecoin do some massive, massive movement without even needing Elon Musk in the picture. Elon Musk is definitely though that extra boost to the Dogecoin community because there's love there between Dogecoin, Elon, Elon, Dogecoin. The love is not going away. It's going to continue to be stronger. And also it's just fun messing with people in power. Even though Dogecoin has legitimately great technology behind it when it comes to transaction fees and everything else, it's still funny to see people in positions of institutional power having to watch a coin with a dog on it go to the top. How ironic and awesome is that? They don't think it has any chance simply because of the branding behind it without doing any further research. So to prove to them that's not true is a special thing and it also kind of prevents as many whales from forming because a lot of those people in those positions still don't take it seriously. So it really is the people's coin more than just about any other cryptocurrency. Yes, we do see a lot in that top wallet, but that top wallet is an exchange. So really, it still is the people's cryptocurrency. Don't be fooled by simply the top wallet propaganda, if you want to call it. What do you think of BTT? And there's a few coins I don't like. The coins that I definitely have a very, very strong opinion and in, in favorable a favorable opinion on are Dogecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum. I think Cardano definitely has a place to slide in. XRP, BitTorrent, Aave. Those are some right there off the top of my head that I love investing in. Then there's really many, many, many more. I'm invested in over 50 different cryptos now, I believe. Something along those lines. So I'm definitely being very diversified. The majority of my investment portfolio when it comes to cryptocurrency, especially, is in Dogecoin, just simply because it has so much more potential than the rest. But that kind of gives you a breakdown. And yeah, Doge in the UFC was definitely a lot of fun. But anyway, that's all the news for the last 24 hours. So much good stuff to talk about. Much while. And even though it hasn't been any too crazy of a day for Dogecoin, I think it is still an important and crucial day based on what we've seen with cryptocurrency altogether. But anyway, I'm Matt Wallace. This is Faustin, and I will see you in the next video.